During the new Green Economy Conference on Friday, January 22nd, experts in the field of technological innovation discussed how research and development is essential to a greener economy. We've actually reached the point where we have control over manufacturing at a nanoscale. We essentially re-engineer the organisms to sort of say, you give me this input, which is sugarcane, and I'll give you diesel out. However, sustainability is not the only goal of technological research. Companies are not incentivized to deliver long-term value. They're incentivized to deliver quarterly, if not monthly, value. And so, pointing at BP, they're doing their job really well, or ExxonMobil, if you're looking at the short-term metric system. And the challenge is to transform that into a longer-term metric system. Technology can have a discontinuous uh, impact for the good or negative on our energy use, the environmental uh, quality of our energy use, and, uh, we, and we can't really predict which technologies are, are going to come through. One company dedicated to the implementation of environmentally conscious research and development projects is the United Parcel Service. One of the uh, most promising ones is a kind of a takeoff on the hybrid technology. It's called a hydraulic hybrid, but it's basically a hydraulic piston that uh, while as the vehicle moves, stores, it stores up hydraulic energy in addition to being a hybrid vehicle. So it kind of uses, combines both those technologies. Uh, the, the problem is it's the proliferation of those things. No matter how green you try to make them, there are only so many, there's only so many goods and services that a finite planet can, can uh, uh, host.